What begins with tea, finishes with tea, and has tea in it. Everybody, um, nice to see you all. Although I can't actually see you, but you can see me, and that's great. Um, I'm here in school. There's very few teachers around. Mr. Edwards is recording this, uh, and it's very quiet. But I know that you're all at home, um, living through some strange times. And it's difficult, isn't it? I know my family certainly been finding it quite difficult. Um, being cooped up in the house all day, living on top of each other, it's not easy. So I'm gonna give you a few tips and a few bits of advice, um, things to think about, things to try and make this go easier, and also to talk about what support the school is offering and can continue to offer for you. So, first of all, living with your family inside, all alone, for so long, it's difficult. Um, so, what can we do? Well, we can look after each other. And the first thing is, be kind. Um, it's not easy. Your brothers and sisters might be annoying you, your parents might be annoying you, but they're also struggling with this. So look after each other. And your parents might have to be working from home. Um, so help them out. Do the tidying up. Tidy your bedroom. Make the meals. Do the washing up. Try and keep your space organized and tidy so that everyone can move around it without getting stressed. And remember, you've got friends. You don't have to be alone all the time. You have to be physically alone, but you can contact them. You can talk to them on social media. Um, you can do uh, uh, video links or FaceTime or something like that. And look out for those, those of your friends that don't seem to be contacting anyone. They're not replying to WhatsApp messages or Snap messages. They may be quite lonely and isolated, so try and get in touch with them. Try and look after each other. That's really important. And the other thing is, looking after yourself, your own physical well-being and mental well-being, you need to go outside and exercise once a day. Um, so we're going to go out onto the garden. And here we are. It's a beautiful sunny day. We're outside, getting some fresh air. Now you need to do this every day to get some exercise. You're allowed to do that once a day. Um, so you should do it and obviously you need to stay two meters away from other people But you can stay close to the people you live with that are in your household um, And and you're going to feel a lot better for it So I would recommend at least an hour maybe two hours outside go for a walk I went for a walk with my family along the canal that's near us the other day and that was lovely uh, And yesterday I took my daughters to the park and played frisbee for an hour and they felt much better for it. And by the time we got back into the house, they were just relaxed and ready to get back to their work. So you should do that. Make sure you do that every day. So this is going to go on for several weeks. And to survive it, we need to have routines. I know that I found it difficult yesterday trying to uh, do my work from home and also help my own kids with their learning and making the meals and so on because we didn't have a routine. It didn't work. It was chaos. So I think you need to talk to your parents uh, and your siblings and make sure that you set aside certain hours when you're doing certain things each day. 
and really importantly you need about four hours when you're using Google Classrooms to do your learning online. The school hasn't stopped, the teachers are still setting loads of work, that work is getting more interested, interesting as more of the teachers are um, filming themselves or just recording their voice as they talk through the work, so make sure you're doing that. And I would recommend you break that time up, so if you do it in hourly slots with a, with a, a timed break in between each hourly slot, maybe two in the morning, two in the afternoon, you'll find it much better, much easier to get work done and stay on top of it. If you're finding it difficult, then you can contact your teachers, you can email them or better still, contact them through the Google Classroom streams and they will respond. They're working just as hard as you, even harder probably, but they're at home as well. Um, so keep in touch with the teachers, ask for help when you need it, and organise yourself, get yourself a timetable for the day. So, if you are having problems um, getting online um, or accessing any websites, remember, you can email itsupport at uaesouthbank.org.uk Now that email address is on the letter I sent you home with, it's also on the front page of the school website. Um, use it, there's a lot of people answering those emails, a lot of people helping people helping students to get online and get on with their learning. Also, um, we are recording P3s and P4s. We're working out how to do rewards remotely. Um, Mr. Badu and Mr. Edwards and the heads of houses, they're all working really hard trying to find different ways and innovative ways to give you rewards. It may be emails to your parents, it may be phone calls home. And when we do start the school again, when we do come back together, um, the first reward buses are going to be trips, they're going to be quite amazing. So keep up the good work. I've seen loads of your work. I can actually see every Google Classroom. So I've seen loads of great work coming in. Keep it up, it'll make you feel better, but it also, most importantly, the learning hasn't stopped. Teachers haven't stopped working. They're working really hard from home. You need to keep learning. So that's all from me. Um, I'll see you again soon. Uh, I'll do another one of these videos. I'm not exactly sure when. It's quite difficult knowing when we're allowed to come into work and not. Um, but I'll keep posting them and you keep watching them. Following this, you've got Mr. Badu and Mr. Edwards. They've filmed something for you. So watch it carefully and keep in touch. All the best. Bye bye. Good morning, UAE. I hope all of you are doing really well. This is just a quick safeguarding video to talk about how and what you can do to make sure you're still safe, even though you're not in school. Now, when we speak about school, we often talk about a building. But in this case, school is more than just a building. School is about who I am, who you are, your staff, your parents and our local community. We're all part of our school. Now, whilst you're at home, we don't want you to feel that you can't speak to anybody who is part of our school. You can still speak to your teachers via Google Classroom, which I've seen most of you doing already. You can send them a private message on Google Classroom if you have any safeguarding or safety concerns. You can also email student services at uaesouthbank.org.uk or alternatively your parents can email us at concerns at uaesouthbank.org.uk even if you feel you have to just speak to somebody, please email us and we'll respond to you. If you feel you need us to call you, email us asking us to give you a call and we'll do exactly that. Please, in this time, make sure that you are safe, make sure you continue to do your work on Google Classrooms and you are talking to each other. You can speak to each other, I know you can speak to each other via PlayStation or your Xbox or you can do so via Google Classrooms or you can email each other. Make sure you're speaking to people and making sure that you are keeping safe. Speak to you soon. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbirds have spoken like the first word. Praise for the singing and praise for the morning. Praise for them springing from the first word. Sweet the rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall in the first hour. Praise from the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness from the first shower. Mine is the sunlight, mine is the morning, born of one's light, Eden saw play. Praise with elation, praise every morning. The first day of spring is the 20th of March, which also marks the vernal equinox. 
One of the reasons why I really love those lyrics is because it talks about praise for the singing and praise for the morning. Now during these times where there's a lot of uncertainty, we've still got to be very thankful for life. We've got to be thankful for the morning, we've got to be thankful for the evening, we've got to be thankful for the morning birds that are singing. This morning I woke up and I had wonderful sounds outside of birds singing with joy and happiness. We see them flying all around us. Now understandably we are going through some very scary times but I want us to be thankful for what we have available, your family, your friends, your, 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 your colleagues, whatever it may be, be thankful and be praised for, for the morning. Thank you.